What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to a special video situation here. Manny versus a hacker. Who will win? Uh, I was just playing the game, minding my own business and fighting enemies and then I realized at some point during this match here that I have a hacker in my team, right? And then I play the match till the end and in the next match we have the same hacker in the enemy team and I get to fight him and I get to ban him. So let's get a hacker banned and let's see if I can beat him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for this. But first, welcome to Raid Shadow Legends, today sponsored an awesome fantasy RPG for your mobile devices and PC. Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to play Raid for free now. Today I want to show you two special bosses. The first one I've chosen is the Minotaur, who is the go-to guy when you need scrolls. He's also not that difficult to beat. He casts hex and debuffs against your champions and he deals increased damage for the first two turns. However, he takes increased damage in the third one, so it's best to keep your high damage attack for that time when he's most vulnerable. Other than that, it's basically just tank and spank, how we say in the RPG world. And something I really love about the raid is this anticipation that you feel when you're summoning champions from shards in the portal and this feeling of like, come on, come on, show me, show me, show me, what is it? <laughs> That's really cool. This month, raid has a ton of new stuff happening. Five new badass looking champions, an overhaul for the champions vault, smaller updates and the summer splash events where you can get these awesome looking skins here for the legendary dwarven champion Trunda Jilmalet. And see the inbox button up in the top right corner this is where new players will find their awesome welcome pack once they start playing Raid using my QR code on screen or the links down below within the next 30 days. Because then you can kickstart your play with this awesome free epic champion Tayrol along with some extra sweet goodies. And then come find me in the game under the name Money G. Alright, so as I said, I was minding my own business. I didn't even know there was a hacker in my team until I saw at the bottom, you see a lot of overload and living legend and whatever. He's behind me right now, but he got killed by Kramola. He had his hellburner running around, exploding everyone around him, right? Very popular are Arthur's with the shockwave and the kit with the stove ability and of course hellburners uh, and shells that can explode. That's very popular among those speed hacking uh, cheaters. Because what they do is they, you can see the Arthur here. You can see the Arthur there in the distance. It's uh, one z seven. Let's go back a little. You see him speed hacking all over the place here to the right. And he's constantly making blast wave explosions. And uh, all the time, like he does 10 explosions per second or whatever. And he's speed hacking all over the place. Everybody he gets close to instantly dies. Even Titans basically almost instantly get destroyed when he comes near them. And since he's speed hacking, there's no way not to get near him. You can see him there, pop, pop, pop. Everybody just flies around the map, gets instantly vaporized and so on. A Ravana right there was able to survive because he's invincible during his ability mode. But there you see, you see the hacker speed hacking all over the place and everybody just dies. The Ravana can stay alive for a bit longer because of his ability, but then eventually, pop, 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 he's done. And that's crazy, like, it's so insane. And that's what these speed hackers do. They uh, dash, like, they basically almost teleport. They're super fast around the map. They have unlimited ability uses constantly, and uh, but they're not invincible, right? They are not invincible. Uh, apparently, they can't cheat invincibility because they've never done this. Of course, this is still an advantage insane, but uh, you can kill them. And in the next match, I'm going to kill him, and I'm going to kill him again, and I'm going to kill him again and again until he has no more robots. So, ladies and gents, let's see what we can do in the next match. And when we get to fight uh, the hacker uh, in, uh, because I saw him here, um, his name is blah 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 something hacks, and I'm going to report him. Here he's back with his Leo. He's got a Leo with all kinds of w weapons, um, but this with this Leo he's actually not doing a lot of damage because he can only really deal insane damage when he has something that he can use with explosion triggering abilities with all the time triggering abilities, right? The Leo has no such ability, so he can't really cheat much with the Leo. He can just speed hack around the court, uh, the map. Um, so yeah, that was uh, the first match, right, where I had him in my team. And I'm showing you now what you do against a hacker. Obviously, you go and check the stats. You make sure you're not mistaken, and he does in fact hack. That was a very short match, and it was very obvious here. I mean, we don't have to think much about it. We saw his name, we saw what he did. It's pretty obvious here. 19 kills, 2 caps. Uh, but that's not an indication of a hacker, but what we've seen him do is a hacker. Then I checked what profile, what uh, platform he's on. I couldn't visit his profile. I'm on Android. That means he cannot be on Android. He must be on iOS or on PC. One of those. I think on PC it's probably easier to cheat, so maybe he's on Steam, but I can't say for sure. I'm definitely reporting him for exploited cheats and bugs. There we go. 
And um, that's one thing you and we all can do. Uh, also, I will show you what I did here. I have a direct line of communication with Pixonic, and I made a short clip. You can see him here in this little um, bad thumbnail that was in Discord on the on the server that we have a direct line of communication with Pixonic on, on, on Discord. And uh, I made that little uh, hacker video. I showed him hacking. I showed his ID in the end, and I requested the ban hammer. And i um, pretty sure this guy is no longer in the game. Um, so yeah, that's uh, so much uh, ahead, right? That's what I've already done. And then, as again, we are going to jump into uh, gameplay now with the second match. Where is it? Come on, here we go. All right, so now we're on Shenzhen, and I was playing, uh, uh, and I saw his name. See, there he is. Blah blah zero zero seven something hacks. Uh, and uh, I saw his name immediately. I knew what was going on. So I took aim on him, and I thought, okay. Let's see what we can do about it, right? I'm gonna teleport on him here. Let's see what happens to me. Look at my HP, dude, look at this. Did you see that, dude? That's crazy. That was a 500,000 HP, uh, uh, um, what's it called, Revenant, with, incre with ability running at the same time. And I go down in like two seconds, just to showcase how insane this this is when he when these hackers run speed hacking um, uh, uh, hell burners and shells and Arthur's right you basically die instantly even if you're a Titan you go down immediately um, but there's one thing you can do about them you can hit them so hard that they basically just drop in two or three hits that's what I'm trying to do here I'm not I'm ignoring everybody else obviously this will probably make me lose the match uh, but yeah. Maybe I can put a good shot into him. Boom! That was a good shot. See, this one took a lot of HP away from him. Unfortunately, now I'm getting hit by a, a slowing field. So I can't really hit him anymore. But I did hit him again a few shots. And when he comes around the corner, I'm still on him. Again, we're losing the match, of course. But I'm fighting this guy. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. There goes his important Hellburner, right? Hellburner is gone. Now he can probably bring the Arthur. And see, there he is. It takes him two seconds to spawn the Arthur in his space and then rush over here. Uh, I immediately die from the Arthur, but I can try to fight him by deploying this thing here and then fighting him. And I have the homing bullets here on the sh uh, on the Ar Harpy. And you see he wants to fight me, but I'm staying up here. He can't hit me up here because I'm up on the high platform. And he's like... Hacker brain does not is not very smart, so he expects me to die because that's what everyone does when he goes in with him with the Arthur. They just die. But sorry, buddy, I uh, I purposely posted, put a counter position to your strategy, and so now I'm here fighting him. And at this point, he realizes if he wants to kill me, he's actually going to have to use his freaking weapons. And that's when he realizes that's also not really going to work. I get my ability back. I'm putting up a ra rocket on him, triggering the bump effect, and my homing bullets do not care about his speed hack. I'm on him, I'm on him, I'm on him, and that is the moment his freaking arf that goes down. So now I already, already took down his most important things that make him hack. I took down his Hellburner and I took down his Arthur. That's the two things that make him strong. Everything else he has now, he is not very strong with. Uh, because, as I said, he needs these he needs these abilities or these things that trigger explosions and uh, and damage. That's what he needs to, to make his, his cheat work. Um, hold on, let me get this Ravana out of the way real quick. It's starting to fly. Bop. Yeah, I think I can now take him down. Yep, and there he goes. That's the hacker over there. I didn't see it for a second, uh, but I will see him in a moment. I just get this uh, Minos there out of the way, or at least I'm trying to. And then I see so many Titans. As I said, man, focusing on a hacker, obviously you're gonna lose the rest of the map because the you know your your team is probably um, also trying to hit the hacker, and the enemy team will run through. But my weapons just deplete him here really quickly, due to the you know auto homing abilities. And I guess this is the first time when I can. Gladly say, yo, those homing bullets, they serve a purpose and I'm glad they're in the game right now because now they do something useful for once. They take a hacker down, right? They can do this, that's good. So I took the hacker again and I think that's it. He, he has four robots or five, I don't know, he lost them all now and he's gone. His titan is gone and the other robots are gone and uh, he's out of the match. So I defeated the hacker but I still lost the match because my team and I... We couldn't really fight uh, and win this fight when we were focusing on a hacker. Um, but uh, yeah, I can still do a dish out a little bit of damage against the enemy uh, Titan, and that's it, 
Right, here we go. Uh, he only he only did five, six million damage, I did four. He did more damage, but we take out all his robots. And I feel like it um, it feels good. Killing that hacker four times was a good, good feat. Uh, but um, yeah, and of course, then we can once again go report player. Uh, again, check, he is on another platform. A report, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's how we do. Again, he should be banned now because it was a direct, uh, a direct report by a YouTuber in the appropriate channels with the video proof and everything. Um, that's something you probably can't do, but still, uh, you can report all the player, uh, or, or you can send in footage to us YouTubers who sometimes have a public email address where you can send stuff to. Um, and uh, yeah, we can also sometimes get someone banned, right? So yeah, ladies and gents, thank you for watching, have a good one, and uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> Money signing off. Bye-bye.